Johnny Pink. For the last couple of days, I have been shooting Canon's R3, but I was using Canon's 200 to 800. If you have not seen that video, please go check it out over here. This is, of course, Malibu Lagoon, and I absolutely, absolutely love shooting here. There's always something to shoot. The brown pelicans that we have here are simply phenomenal. <laughs> the little shore birds too so let me take you into a lapse check this out Pink. I hope you can hear me from there. A little bit closer to the camera. Because I can't see myself, and for all I know, you're only shooting my knees.
you think? This is Canon's R3. I don't have an R1 yet. Oh man, that's so much fun. This is the second video I'm doing with this. I was only gonna do one, but I had so many shots that first day shooting hummingbirds that I opted to make it two. It's okay. Let me share some photos with you and then I'll give you some thoughts on how the R3 performs as a wildlife camera compared to say, my favorite R5 or even the R7. Check some of my photos out. I'm shooting some of the pelicans, but I've been able to get my favorite, favorite gulls. I love these things. Their eyes are beautiful and some of the little shorebirds and... <gasps> Check these out. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go catch some stuff over here. Okay, so if you let me share that much with you, first I want to say thank you. I cannot, I cannot express my thanks to you enough for letting me share my crap with you. I, I love it. Favorite lens of all time? Well, favorite lens for Canon is this 600 f4. This thing is simply a beast. It's also heavy, so it makes it inconvenient for many people. It's expensive, also makes it inconvenient. Second favorite lens would be the 100 to 500, even with the 1.4 extender on there. It is a beast of a lens. You lose the zoom. The 200 to 800 gives you that zoom, but you really need a lot of light. On a day like this, it would be pushing the ISO really high. And even though the newer cameras, the full frame ones, like the R5 or the R6, probably the R8, I have not used one of those. And of course, Canon's R3 here, they handle high ISO, no problem. The R7 does struggle when you get up into the 12,000. I think I've shot this at 16,000 ISO using the 200-800. And you will have seen that in my last video using the R3. I didn't, I'm, I'm, this is a rental and I'm not gonna have it long enough to shoot the 100 to 500 on it. So I'm either gonna have to buy it or I'm going to have to rent it again. I'm watching the Pelicans come in and it's very distracting for me. Squirrel! It's absolutely beautiful. So anyway, I'm, this is a great lens. I love having this stacked sensor. It's fantastic. 24 megapixels, for me, I want more, which is where the R7 comes in at 33. The, what was it, the EOS R9? The 90D. That one, 33 megapixels like the R7, I think that is a phenomenal range. 33 is about as low as I really want to go, although Sony's A6700 was really, really nice. And when you can fill your frame, that was only 24 megapixels too, but when you can fill your frame, I think you get some great photos. 
It's when I want to crop in that I like having more information. Just, it's my personal preference, yours may be different, and that is quite okay. We all shoot differently. I don't always get down on the ground on my belly. I can't see the reason to. I get photos that I like, and you guys let me share with you, so that really matters more to me than anything else. This is a phenomenal camera. I don't like the video from this so much. I prefer it on the R5 and even the R7. The video is phenomenal. What I like about the R5 is 8K. I really like shooting in 8K and being able to zoom in and pull back out and having all that information. Again, it's just more information. This is not a video-centric camera. This is a photo-centric camera. It's designed for, for professionals where you're uploading your images quickly so that as you're shooting that event, that sporting event, whatever it's gonna be, it uploads, it's processed really quickly and gets shot out to the media for photos that they want. That's what it's designed for. And for that, man, it's phenomenal. It does shoot wildlife nicely, but the R5, I think, is a better option in, in the same price range. So I'm looking forward to what Canon comes out with as far as the R5 II. I hope it's a, t a stacked sensor. If not, I'll probably just keep my R5 or the R1 when they come out with that. If it is a 24 megapixel sensor, I'll rent it, but I won't buy it. I'll keep, we got some big waves coming in, man. And it's high tide and we've had all these rainstorms and there's tons of debris on the beach. It's just an absolute mess out here. Oh, oh, pelicans. Who says you can't hand, shoot this handheld? And since this is a rental, I haven't dialed everything in like I have on the R5 or even the R7. I had it for a couple of days. I set it up good enough so that I can shoot just like I did on the Sony a6700 or the first time I rented the, the Z9. Oh, gosh, it's beautiful out here. So anyway, that thank you again for letting me share with you guys. I Wildlife camera, my favorite right now, the R5. Second, the R7 but you need a fast lens. This lens on the R7 is absolutely stunning. Disadvantages to a prime, you are the zoom, so you have to back way up and you miss a lot of shots. Like this, like these seals that I, I shot here a couple of weeks ago, I was shooting at 1200 millimeters because I was shooting the, the 600 f4 and I had the 2x extender on there. Well, I couldn't get, I couldn't run back fast enough. I, I just wanted some shots, so I, I got shots that I like. Second favorite lens, the 100 to 500, even with the 1.4 extender on it. And the third favorite, which I think most people are gonna buy anyway, and it's a phenomenal lens, would be the 200 to 800. Super versatile. I love that zoom. Man, I love that zoom. I would pay twice that for a faster lens with that reach. And by faster, I mean F5, F4, F5.6, something like that. Johnny Pink, again, thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me share with you guys. Have a fantastic day out there, whatever it is you're going to do. And if you see me out here shooting, and you see me talking to the camera, come up and stick your fingers up behind my ears like this, and we'll laugh about it, and it'll be in the video. I hope I don't have boogers in my nose. We'll see you guys.